trap money thinny. This shit got me in my feelings. Hey guys, it's Kayla Simone. Welcome back to my channel. If you cannot see or have not noticed, I have blonde hair now and I'm just this is like my first impressions about being blonde, my new hair color. I've literally been blonde for all of five minutes and I got something to say. So, I mean, if you are interested or you're thinking about dyeing your hair or anything like that, then keep watching this video. And before we even get into it, I'm going to need you to give me a thumbs up. I missed y'all. I mixed last week's up upload or whatever. So, um, I'm playing catch up right now. I'm so sorry about it. It was really hectic. I had a long work schedule, but I'm back. Okay and i'm here to talk about this color so i'm new and improved and yeah so again if you would like to hear about how i got my hair dyed how long it took um pros cons or whatever i have to say about my curly natural not so natural blonde hair then stay tuned and keep on watching all right so um i got my hair done by a hairstylist i would consult a professional this time because the hair color that i previously had that um you guys know me to have like my ends colored or whatever i did that at home by myself it was kind of a choppy job and i wanted something professional because the attempt or the long-term goal was to get blonde hair um so i've been dyeing my hair I started a year ago I in an attempt to go blonde I think I bought like a box color that was the dark and lovely honey blonde the one that everybody gets and um, it didn't lift my hair as well as I thought it would and so now with my hair being virgin and already lifted um, it was so much easier to do so and the reason why I believe it was hard to lift my hair before is because I had a henna dye in it when I had my TWA for my hair to be so dark and so i kind of had to let that grow out and simmer out so me dying it the first time didn't really lift as well again because i had henna on it previously um and so the hairstylist that i consulted with it goes by the name of miss shamika newman shout outs to you girl because you got my hair looking so right um this is kind of how i envision the color being um with some highlights and lowlights of different colors so um of course this whole going blonde process is a gradual thing and so right now for this to be my f like first real step because the last time it turned out like a light brown brown tips or whatever this is what more so what i like so um i definitely appreciate her go follow her on instagram i'll put her instagram name here show her some love she does some beautiful color jobs um so i consulted with her about getting my hair color uh, I paid about $200 to get my hair colored. Now, um, when I was like talking to family members or other people that I know who either um, is in the hair realm or cosmetology realm, honestly, you want to pay good money. I know like $200 is pretty steep, but you want to pay good money for good color because, um, I mean, my curl pattern, and I'll zoom in eventually, my curl pattern is still pretty decent after going through um the color that she went through so uh it also cost a lot because i have somewhat of a lot of hair and my strands and my hair is thick and so she had to mix about four to five bowls of this custom color just to um apply it in my head and she did a highlighting process as well which is a little more tedious than slapping color all over my head so um it was quite a process i want to say in total it took about three to four hours to do my color alone and then I was able to style and I kind of did that in a rush afterwards so when I um, sh get ready to really do my normal routine deep condition my hair hot oil treatments I think it'll nurse my hair back to the softness it was I can say that my hair is a little rougher than um, what it was having like a lot of virgin um, dark brown hair and very well maintained and take care taking care of color that i did have because this is fresh colored this is new it needs time to kind of set in so i'm not really tripping so much on the texture it was a little harder to detangle than um it normally is but that was to be expected because it is fresh color again so the process took about three to four hours um to like i said do all this tedious highlighting work and i'm going to zoom you guys in so you can kind of see the colors and how multi-dimensional 
it is so some of it is still my natural hair color some of it is what color my tips were some of like these pieces here are very very light and that's what I wanted is some multi-dimension because um, I wanted my curls to really really pop so I just look like a little lion I love it and I'm so glad that she kept my roots dark because when I pull my hair back I don't want it to look so um, processed and overdone and so I felt like this was really cute I like the kind of grown out blonde look so um she really and I'm gonna try and insert the picture that um I used and if you follow me on Instagram again you will see the picture that I liked and it was a very multi-dimensional um highlighted blonde color like I said I've been trying to get blonde my hair blonde right for a few years now and I always mess it up and I end up going back dark or whatever I've had blonde highlights before but nothing to where my whole head is essentially blonde so I really really like it um the first day it kind of had to grow on me because my hair didn't fully dry when I had to wash it and so it was a little like limp and stuck to my head but when it's dried out and um just pretty big it just looks gorgeous I love it I'm in love with my color I don't care if nobody else ain't somebody got a problem people like oh my god um you know so many people with blonde hair listen listen i wasn't the first person to wear blonde hair won't be the last person to wear blonde hair if somebody decides to dye their hair blonde after me do it do it do you it's your life no one cares you know what i'm saying so um yeah i love it i think it's cute um i think that this will give me room to go a little bit lighter if i want to I again i kind of would hope to do it in the process of like a year or so i don't want to um just be getting color on top of color and keep getting processed fast because she the stylist miss shamika she was asking me like oh well you know if you have somebody touch it up and i was like i probably won't i'll probably let it grow out like i did my other color and then get color done again because i don't want to over process my hair i think that's half of the reason why my hair was able to take the color so well is because i do not over process it i do not overdo it and it was in a pretty healthy state to begin with that is one thing that i really really suggest that you guys um if you're thinking about dyeing your hair blonde or something like that take an introspective look and make sure that you you know know that your hair is healthy enough to take that when consulting a professional that professional will want to consult with you do a consultation and do a strand test she did a strand test on my hair that's how i was able to know that my hair would take the color how fast it would take it and what developer she can and cannot use or whatever and so um that is a perk about going to a professional is that they sit down they consult with you they look at your hair they do a strand test they see if it damages your hair and if it does they will not move forward so that way you don't risk getting your whole head dyed and done and then you don't like it and your curls don't curl back up or something like that so um i was really particular about who i picked and why i picked them um she does another friend of mine who's her name is actually kayla simone which is hilarious so follow her on instagram as well it's simone with the c and um she actually does her hair and i noticed that her curl pattern was always very much still intact no matter how blonde she got um so that was really inspiration for me to uh go to miss shamika so that's what i did um so what i've noticed since getting my hair dyed is that um it is a lot drier than normal mind you this is the first couple days it hasn't even been a week yet so i'm just filming this for you guys fresh um it is a lot drier than normal i have to be very very careful because it's new um with making sure that i for sure for sure tie my hair up at night make sure my ends are protected and that i'm thoroughly moisturizing my hair because it's in a lot more of a fragile state than what it was so before i got my hair color i was able to um get away with not moisturizing for a couple of days or whatever and it wouldn't get super dry um but because i have stripped my hair it will get dry so um i had to make a new concoction earlier today with my trader joe's um tea tree conditioner some jojoba oil coconut oil and water and spray it in my hair and mist it in my hair now i was using the this isn't the one that's in the bathroom but i don't want to get it but the talia wali not this curl cream but they have a daily leave-in conditioner that you can spray on your hair and i was using that but i ran out recently um, one thing that I did use to style that I normally use was my Plentyful products 
and it's in this packaging and I've been promoting it on my Instagram and I put the link down below my plentiful products definitely still gave my hair some normalcy so by me using that styler um, the styler for kinky coily hair or whatever by me using that styler that made my hair just give it some slip and it was super easy for me to detangle when I was styling my hair and I styled in a rush so I am so thankful for those products I definitely have to repurchase um, the conditioner and the co-wash and the styler because I'm running out but that is a definite must like those products have really helped my hair and I think it really helped my hair prepare for the type of color that I was going to get because of how I was deep conditioning um one thing that I will say about my hair, like I said, that's a con, is that it just got a lot more tangled, but the color's beautiful. I really, really love my hair and how it turned out. I'm excited to kind of give you guys updates on how my hair acts um, moving forward. If I can nurse it back to the softness, because it's still pretty soft, but if I can nurse it back to the softness and the um, the moisture level that it was prior to me going blind so that'll be an experiment within itself i'll see if i can come up with some home remedies and concoctions that will help me um but otherwise i really really love it this is just me giving you my initial impression on my hair if you like this video or you have any questions about why i went blind or why i did this or anything about the process or anything that you will want to know going forward definitely leave it in the comments down below i love chatting with you guys i know it's been like over a week but um i only missed a week so i've been doing good definitely drop those comments down below give this video a thumbs up if you like me just sitting here talking to you guys and letting you guys know what my hair is going through and the processes that i'm going through um yeah i love you guys so 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 much if i forgot to mention anything in this video again drop it in the comments or tell me to make a video um yeah i love you guys so much i will talk to you all later Peace.